This may look like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but believe it or not, this is part of Saudi Arabia's newest mega city that is set to be the first of its kind in the world. This is The Line. The Line is a brand new type of utopian city, and this is just one small part of a $500 billion mega city project under construction in Saudi Arabia's Tabuk province. And the city is called Neom. As crazy as it looks, Neom is part of a master plan included in Saudi Arabia's 2030 vision to revolutionize the Middle East. The megacity is set to cover more than 10,000 square miles, and it'll be 33 times larger than New York City. So let's talk about it. The Line is just one region of Neom, but the Line is intended to be the innovative centerpiece of the region. It's just one of the crazy futuristic concepts that Saudi Arabia is working on. In addition to the Line, Saudi Arabia is also building two different airports, a mountain city, a floating industrial city, and a couple other distinct regions within the megacity of Neom, and it's all happening right now. Now, let's talk more about the line and what exactly it's supposed to be. The line is designed to be a linear 3D city, enclosed by a mirrored glass wall that is 105 miles long, 150 stories tall, and has the capacity to host over 9 million people. The idea is to create a zero carbon emission city with no cars and no roads, which is why everything is stacked vertically. Instead of cars for transportation, the line will have a super high speed autonomous rail system underneath the city that will allow people to travel from one end to the other, 105 miles in just 20 minutes. The line is designed to be a self-sustaining city with its own energy, agriculture, education, and innovation sectors. And since it's all in one line, the city will cause less harm to the environment around it since it's all consolidated in a thin linear structure. It'll have vertical farms, solar-powered greenhouses, and supposedly flying drones and helicopters to make the line a self-sustaining city of the future. Actually, the whole thing isn't really one city. The line will be made of dozens of interconnected city modules that are like self-contained units of a city that all connect to each other. So it's not exactly one singular linear city, it's more of a series of individual cities that are all connected to each other via the high-speed rail. Now, Neom isn't exactly just a city or even a mega city. It's more of a region made up of multiple cities that will all be different, but they all have the same objective. All of Neom is meant to be an aspirational society for human civilization. A city of the future. Neom Bay is part of the first phase under development that will serve as a residential area on the coast of the Red Sea, along with the Neom Bay Airport to make the city more accessible to international travelers. Neom is strategically located in the heart of the Middle East, and for about 70% of the world's population, it's less than an eight hour flight away. The purpose of Neom, aside from being a massive city of the future, is to attract businesses and investors from around the globe. It will be an autonomous economic zone with its own laws and regulation different from the rest of Saudi Arabia, but still under Saudi control. I mean, Neom is bigger than some entire countries, so the idea that this would be a self-governing zone is not far-fetched. Now, moving on to another region within Neom, Oxygen. This is Neom's industrial city on the water. Oxygen is supposed to be a trade city, partially on land and partially floating on the Red Sea. Using artificial intelligence and predictive technology, it's supposed to be an automated port operating as a logistics hub, a manufacturing district, and shipping facility to stimulate global trade. This emphasis on trade will be in addition to focusing heavily on research, development, and innovation for the people who live in Oxygen. Now, as cool as this project might seem, 
Saudi Arabia really hasn't given many details on Oxygen with regard to how much it's going to cost, how they're going to automate the whole city, or how they plan on engineering a floating city to actually stay afloat. Though a big part of Oxygen will be its automated ports, it will still be a heavily residential city within Neom. There will be tons of residential spaces on the floating city, along with a huge emphasis on education, environmental research, and protecting marine life by installing new coral reefs. Now, leaving the coast and heading up to the mountains, this is Trojena, the mountains of Neom. This part of Neom is located further inland, and it's a city that will be built up in the mountains. Trojena is a high-altitude, smart community, and it's all surrounding a massive man-made lake that will be called The Vault. It's supposed to be kind of like a year-round resort destination in the mountains of Saudi Arabia. You'll even be able to ski up there when Trojena is completed. As unbelievable as Neom is supposed to be, there has actually been a ton of controversy surrounding this mega city to be built. There's also numerous potential issues from a project this ambitious. Considering that direct investment has been plummeting in Saudi Arabia, the volatility of oil prices, which the Saudi economy is heavily reliant on, plus as progressive as they're trying to make this mega city seem, many people are still skeptical of Saudi Arabia as a country that has historically been scrutinized for its autocratic government, corruption, lack of women's rights, and its anti-LGBT laws, it doesn't exactly make sense for Saudi Arabia to try to set the standard for a city of the future. The whole purpose of Neom is to be the ideal representation of a smart city. But what makes this smart city so innovative? What even is a smart city? Saudi Arabia has always played a major role in the world's energy sector, but they're trying to diversify from being so dependent on oil exports, and they want to include more sustainable energy in their new cities, so they're trying to make Neom as eco-friendly and self-sustainable as possible. Saudi Arabia is also trying to bring in foreign investment, new companies, and ultimately create a hub for innovation in biotech, environmental research, and world-class technology. It's an ambitious project, to say the least. As cool as Neom might seem, it's still very early on in its development, and they've got a long way to go if they're truly going to make this a city of the future. You can probably guess that building a brand new city in the middle of the desert isn't exactly easy. That's why the whole project is supposed to take around 10 years to complete, assuming they stick with their proposed deadlines. Neom could be a game changer for Saudi Arabia if it actually ends up being anything close to what they're making it seem like. It could also be a stepping stone for other countries to implement similar agricultural and environmental practices, but probably on a smaller scale than what Saudi Arabia is trying to accomplish. Right now, construction is still underway on Neom Bay, one of the two airports, Oxygen, and the line. Saudi Arabia plans to complete the first phase of Neom by 2025, and the government of Egypt will be contributing some land since Neom is so close to the border. And Saudi officials have already stated they've been working with multiple US-based firms to engineer this city to perfection. All hands are on deck, but we are witnessing a new era of living in this city of the future. For more content on international development projects like this, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.